Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about amortization. Here in this Excel sheet, we shall learn how to make a amortization table or a schedule like this one. A loan is amortized if both the principal and interest are paid by a sequence of equal periodic payments. I am repeating the line again. If both the principal and interest are paid by a sequence of equal periodic payments. It's a very important point to understand about amortizations. Suppose a mortgage of $210,000 to be paid month by month if we are asked to find the amount of the monthly payments needed to amortize this loan then what we need we need the annual interest rates here i can see he, it is nine percent i wrote here nominal interest rate it is nine percent compounded monthly so in that scenario interest rate will be 9% by 12.75% that's what I have written here number of periods or payments it is 384 how it comes here it says mortgage it will last for 32 years so how to get this period only need to multiply this 32 by 12 we get 384 months or periods that's what i have written here now we have here interest rate number of periods and loan so using these three numbers we can calculate periodic payments so we can calculate these monthly payments using Excel argument function or using formula as this one. So let's see first how to use Excel function arguments. So to find this, say if I click here. I got here Excel function PMT and inside bracket it is B1, B2, B3. This is B1, this is B2, this is B3. Again here I kept negative. Actually this negative comes from this loan, this value minus B3. So outside I put minus. If we look at the formula this function arguments we can see here rate b1 npear b2 pv b3 so using excel very easily we can find this value this one so periodic payments for this if we want to find the same value using formula so what you are doing here here loan of p dollars at interest rate i per period and it is amortized in n equal periodic payments it is this one and n equal periodic payments of r dollars this is that i mean monthly payments 
So using this, we put value for P from here 210,000 interest rate 0 0.0075 and 1 minus this I 0 0.0075 and this N we got 384 this value as it is present value I mean per period per payments I mean per month it's like rent per month so here it is negative using calculator I got this 1669.74 same thing what I got through Excel argument functions now we have to use this monthly payments to amortize the loan as we know a bank or business must keep its book accurately to the nearest penny so it must determine the balance due in such cases exactly and this is done by means of this amortization schedule which list how much of each payment is the interest and how much goes to reduce the balance by this monthly payments as well how much is owed after each payments so if you look at this then you see this amortization table in each column heading we can read at interest for that month I mean in which month we are trying to find if it is first month it will be here then payments for monthly it is same for all months level payments and this is payment against principal how it comes it is this payment minus of this interest so we get this payment against principal and this payment against principal to be subtracted from the remaining principal so 210,000 minus of 94.74 we get 209905.26 so I am repeating again to determine how much of the payment goes towards interest how to get this multiply the principal remaining this balance by the monthly interest rate this one 0 0.0075 or 0.75 percent if we multiply this amount by this we get the interest and it is 1575 dollars here you can see our monthly payment is this 1669.74 so what is the remainder this minus this it is 94.74 and this amount is applied to repayment of the principal here so after this first payments the remaining balance will be this minus this so we get this value 209905.26 now for the second row we have to do what these remaining principal to be multiplied by this interest rate so we get the interest for the second months and it is 1574.29 our monthly payment 
as we saw in the previous month, it is same. 1669.74. So remainder of the payments will be this minus this, it is 95.45. And this amount is applied to repayment of the principal. So after the second payments, remaining balance will be this minus this, it will be 209909.80 Now the remaining lines of this schedule we found in similar fashion. So we continue to calculate interest based on the remaining principal balance on this column. One important thing we have to see that each month the amount of interest declines. If you look at this each month amount of interest declines because you can see here here amount of interest declines how 1574 157 this is 4 this is 1573 you see it is decreasing and the amount of applied to the principal balance increases you see this is decreases, this is increasing because 94.74, this is 95, this is 96, this is 96 point, this is again more, more, it is increasing, this is decreasing. One important point I want to mention here, but here we will not find that case, but most of the amortization table it happens. After 384 payments, the loan is fully paid off. This is the normal procedure. Here we have 384. Just I am going at the end. 384 payments. So look at this. This one. Normally here, Sometimes it doesn't come zero. Some small amount comes here. So to making it round off to zero or this final value, I mean final balance exactly zero, if it comes automatically zero, it means our calculation is perfect. If for some reason we are finding that this value is different than zero, then last monthly payment, we have to adjust a little to get this zero. That is why it says that all the payments are equal, sometimes except the last one. Now here we have some questions, we will try to solve it. So what are the questions, let's see. The first one, what is the monthly payment, already we solved it. What is the interest paid at the end of the 10th month? If we make amortization table for these 384 payments, so it is very easy for us to scroll the table and to see 
what is the interest paid at the end of the 10th month so if we look at this we can find it very easily interest for 10th month it is this one but if we don't have this table in exam or in some other places if we are asked what is the interest paid at the end of 10 months if you don't have this table how you can find it using formula let's see this part here 10th our monthly payment is this we will use this formula it comes from here but the difference is when we see the 10 months interest then we need because this interest come from here ninth from this remaining principal because this multiplied by interest rate we get this 10th interest so we need this value what are the remaining principal so our first task is to find the remaining principal so how to get that we will use this formula only this value for n it will be because total we have 384 minus of this 10 for the onward all these payments we have to put here because if we deduct 384 minus of this uh, 10th then we get 370 5 I mean this 9th 384 minus 9 we get remaining payments is minus 375 that's what we have to write here then easily using directly this formula we can find the 9th remaining principal you see 209121.28 so this is the value now it's very easy if this value is multiplied by interest rate we get 1568.41 this one so this is done now it says how much of the principal is paid down by the payment made at the end of 25th month we must go to the table 25th month let's move on 25th i put here yellow color see 25th month so how much to be 113.35 this is this one question says how much of the principal is paid down by the payment made at the end of 25th month so it is 113.35 this value last one the first time that the portion of a monthly payment that is paying down the principal will be larger than the portion paying interest will occur at the end of month number it means as already we discussed this interest rate is decreasing and this payment I mean payment against principal it is increasing so it says first time that the portion of a monthly payment that is paying down the principal will be larger than the portion paying interest will occur at the end of month number of which number so here it is increasing here it is decreasing so there is a certain month let's move 292 months you see it is increasing it is decreasing but always this value is higher you see 1421.34 this is only 248 if we go more if we compare these two still this interest is higher than this again you move forward still this 860 and this is 808 still this is higher we are looking for this interest will be lower than this look at 
293. In this position, in this position, it is same as before 836, 833. Still, this interest is higher. But here, 830.08 interest and this value 839. So, this is the line where this 839, this value is higher than this one. So, this is the point where starts changing from this is higher than this one. Then started up to the end. What is happening up to the end? See, this is very, very low now. It is decreasing, decreasing very far. So it is 24. Here 12.43. Here 1657.31. That is why here same. So our this value is 0.